Before we get into the video and how to get everything and all of that, everything that you are gonna need to do as far as a step-by-step -step guide, I got from Wowhead, and it's actually listed down in the description box down below, as well as a link to the item uh, on Wowhead. So it takes about an hour and a half total, though I'll cut a lot of this stuff out. Just uh, you know, thought we'd share this video, get more uh, awareness out there. It's a nice item, gives you you know 3% XP, I think, stacking, but it's got a two hour and 40 minute cooldown. I haven't tested it personally, yet but i don't know if that means you can sleep in it and get one percent and then you gotta wait two hours and 40 minutes and then you can sleep in it again and then you get another one percent and then you gotta wait another two hour and 40 minutes uh, you do get other stuff in this quest line as well like a 12 slot bag and some other you know miscellaneous items it's going to be helpful to have the flight paths to get to Westfall, or wherever that is for the Horde, I apologize. But you're also going to need to pick up something in the Barrens, and that's going to be Ratchet or Thousand Needles or, you know, whatever. If you are on the Alliance side, then I would recommend starting with the Westfall drop. And if you are on the Horde side, then I would recommend you starting with the Barrens location. But you have to visit both, both the um, Westfall and Barrens location as uh, any faction. The first location is in the Alexton Farmstead at 3750. I'm not sure why you would have a campsite in the middle of a field but that's all right there is a, a little clickable item burned out remains you just click on that to start the whole thing looks like we got some horde coming through here we're not gonna mess with them though i'm gonna go ahead and accept that quest actually what we'll do is we will fly to ratchet from you know darnassus aberdeen astronaut i'm a druid so i got teleport moonglade we're gonna teleport there and then fly to ratchet and then run to the baron's location as an alliance player if you have the uh the the, Theral the thalinar Feralus flight path that's in 1000 needles or actually in Feralus, just outside of 1000 needles uh, or the theramore flight path it's actually going to be a little bit faster than going into ratchet and running south to it it's pretty close to the entrance to Dustwalla marsh which is where theramore is of course you know this is going to be a, a a higher leveled zone so you want to be very careful of that the thing about going into theramore is you can take the boat there from aberdeen seeing the size of the map Coming in from Theramore might not actually be faster than flying in from Ratchet, but if you are on Alliance and uh, you know you're on a PvP server like I am, this may be safer. Though I am not 100% sure what level the mobs are in Dustwallow Marsh. I guess we'll find out as we run our way through. You know what? If you have the Ratchet flight path, I think that's probably better. Look! Look at that! Look at that skull. He's just camp in my corpse so if you are going to run through dust wall marsh i recommend staying on the road staying on the path you're still going to run into a lot of uh, red mobs even at level 31 but uh, it's a lot it's a lot safer the baron's location is at 4674 you can see it's just north of the crossroads uh, on the right or east side of the road you can see the uh, the tower burn down tower right here and the quest item is this burned out remains right here this poor guy. Don't know if this can be uh, looted by multiple people at the same time. Guess we'll find out. It looks like yes. Oh, strong trolls, bud. Blood potion, blah, and a swiftest potion. Those might be helpful later. So we're going to accept that. And the next quest step is actually up in Stone Talon Mountains. So you're already here. If you don't have the ratchet flight path yet, I would recommend going and getting the ratchet flight path, although I can't imagine why you wouldn't. Then you're just gonna wanna run north to Whaling Caverns and hang a left, go west into Stone Talon Mountains. That is the next step. If you are running north through the Barrens as an alliance, there are two entrances into Stone Talon. The southernmost honor stand has some guards, all right? They have level 40 guards, so be very mindful of that. Now, if you go up north just a little bit around this mountain, there's another entrance into Stone Talon Mountains and it's burned out and there are no guards. So, you know, just be, be careful if you're running through here and you're not yet level 40. If you're in Stone Talon and you're on this map about right here, it's about, uh, looks like 51, 7, 52, 1. Off to the left, there's a little ramp that goes up in this path up here. This is going to be where you're going to want to go. Eventually, you'll come up over this rise and uh, you'll see this little camp right here. It's not actually at 50, 50. Let's, uh, let's get in here and see where we're at. The item you're looking for is on this little bench. It's pocket litter. You can see that pocket litter. I'm at uh, 40.8525. I guess 5050 is where the entrance to this uh, little ramp is. So 5050 on the map, and then just follow the path around. There's gonna be a lot of people running this one running this route. So, oh, nice. So we got sturdy lunchbox. Oh, 12 slot bag. There we go. 12 slot bag, flint and tender, simple wood for a campfire, mining pick and a shovel will complete that. And then uh, the next one, 
Uh, the next step is actually in uh, Lock Modan. Actually, before you go on to the next step, there's a little mound of dirt that you need to pick up. It's back over here, and you gotta choose a reward. Okay, some nice items here. If I was a hunter, I suppose. A student fodder is actually XP. It's pretty nice. So just real quick, I'm gonna show you this. Uh, student fodder, just use it. I don't know what happened actually there. Yeah, so what it does is it actually gives you four bars of rested XP. That's nice. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So every 30 minutes, just crack one of those open or maybe save them until level 40. I don't know. Or uh, they're BOP, so you can't give them to an alt, but that's okay. Yeah, sure enough, I got a bunch of uh, rested XP bars down here. Now, I don't know why Blizzard makes things so difficult on the Horde. It, it is what it is. This part isn't too bad. The dam is in the northern part of Loch Modan, uh, so long as you have the flight path. And you can see you want to get to the, uh, yeah, so there's some guards back here, level 30. So if your Horde players, be mindful of that. Stealth past them or whatever you got to do. And then there's this little ledge right here that you jump off. And uh, there is the item. Carved figurine is what you want. Carved figurine, and this is at... Uh, Let's see, 49.4.12.9 is the exact locations of that. So we're gonna, oh, we got a nice little hickory pipe as well as some Rumsey Rum Light. Very nice stamina boost. Go ahead and complete that quest. The next quest, Eagle's Fist, will take us to Hillsbride Foothills. Flight path into the South Shore if you are Alliance. Yeah, let's jump. Ah, uh oh, I'm not gonna make it. Ugh. Oh, I didn't die. So if you're coming through uh, Arathi Highlands, you can come up from this side. You're gonna look up here. You can't see it from the Arathi Highlands side, but if you look at the Hillsbride Foothill side, you can see the entrance uh, right here. See what I'm talking about? And then do a little jumping puzzle to get up here. Whew, all right. Now we're in here, now we're on the wall. Check out all this cool ambiance here. And then uh, right here at the end. And then you just want to collect this item at the bottom. Nice. Unroll the bag a little bit. Let's take a little nap. I think we should just relax. Long day of questing, long day of grinding. Cool. So now we just relax. Let's see how this works here. I think if we lay in it for, we lay in it for a minute, we get 1% and then it just keeps stacking all the way up to 3%. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut ahead. And you can see it's got two hours and 44 minutes left uh, until I can use it again. So there's one. There's 1% XP, well rested. Two hour duration, and I'm still in bed. I'm still got the Z's above my head. Let's uh, let's keep on going. Yep, that's that's what it is. You just, you pop it open and you lay in it for three minutes to get your uh, stacking XP bonus up to 3%. So pretty cool. I got a bunch of miscellaneous ammo. I got a gun, level 23 gun bow or throwing weapon. I got a pickaxe or a shovel. I also got a, a 12 slot bag, the sturdy lunchbox, a pipe, some uh, Rumsey Rum Light, and then a bunch, I think eight of the student fodder, which gives you four bars of rested XP on use. Thank you for hanging out. Everything is listed in the description box down below. Be good or be good at it. And I will see you in the next one. Just a couple more, a couple more seconds till I get that third percent. There we go.